Hello boys and girls, Mrs. Mobile here. Today I have another guest reader. Today it is my mom. Hello mom. So we're going to be reading one of my favorite books. I actually think this book is when I was from a kid, uh, when I was actually a kid. Uh, it's called The Runaway Bunny. You will see that um, I drew in this book and uh, the pages look very old, but I think this is actually the book from when I was a kid. So my mom is going to read with me. All right, mom, you're up first. Once there was a little bunny who wanted to run away. So he said to his mother, I'm running away. If you run away, said his mother, I will run after you, for you are my little bunny. <laughs> There you go. I can see. I started over here. Started started with the coloring. Pen on the book. If you run after me, said the little bunny, I'll become a fish in a trout stream and I will swim away from you. If you become a fish in a trout stream, said his mother, I will become a fisherman and I will fish for you. And then these were always my favorite when it got into full color and I got to see all the details. <laughs> right? The bunny's trying to swim away. He's like, leave me alone, mom. I'm in a bad mood. If you become a fisherman, said the, said the little bunny, I will become a rock on the mountain high above you. If you become a rock on the mountain high above me, said his mother, I will be a mountain climber and I will climb to where you are. I was like, I'm going to get away, Mom. You're not going to find me. <laughs> but Mom always found him. She always found him. <laughs> If you become a mountain climber, said the little bunny, I will become a crocus in a hidden garden. If you become a crocus in a hidden garden, said his mother, I will be a gardener and I will find you. This always reminded me of my mom because she was a gardener, right? <laughs> Do you see the bunny? He's hiding. He's really hiding. Oh, wrong finger, wrong side to side. There he is. Inside the crocus. If you are a gardener and find me, said the little bunny, I will be a bird and I will fly away from you. If you become a bird and fly away from me, said his mother, I will be a tree that you come home to. Still can't get away from mom. It's trying desperately though. <laughs> Look at the mom. Shaped like a tree. If you become a tree, said the little bunny, I will become a little sailboat and I will sail away from you. If you become a sailboat and sail away from me, said his mother, I will become the wind and I will blow you where you want, where I want you to go. When I would read this to my kids when they were little, I would blow in their face real hard when we got to this part. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> like, If you become the wind and blow me, said the little bunny, I will join a circus and fly away on a flying trapeze. If you go flying on a flying trapeze, said his mother, I will be a tightrope walker and I will walk across the air to you. My old book. <laughs> Bringing back so many memories. Oh, oh, uh, there we go. The little bunny flying on that trapeze. Here comes mama. If you become a tightrope walker and walk across the air, said the bunny, I will become a little boy and I will run into a house. If you become a little boy and run into a house, said the mother bunny, I will become your mother and I will catch you in my arms and I will hug you. And this is the same author as um, Goodnight Moon. I hated that book. But this is, you can see like it's got like the Goodnight Moon little picture up here. This is the only Margaret Brown book I really, really loved, Margaret Wise Brown. All right, Mom, you're up. Shucks, said the bunny. I might just as well stay where I am and be your little bunny. And so he did. Have a carrot, said the mother bunny. He just gave up. He's like, it's not even worth it. Everywhere I go, she's right there. <laughs> she's chasing me down. He's like, I'm just going to stay here. So thank you, Mom. Thank you. So are my little bunny. <laughs> Thanks. Make sure you guys go and vote on The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown. See you tomorrow.